Someone in my office a while back, um, I always just thought this was so, so funny. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor came up while we were talking, which is kind of a funny thing. And, uh, and, uh, and so we were talking about relationship. And Elizabeth Taylor came up in the conversation. And, and they uh, indicated that they thought Elizabeth Taylor was you know, trifling, that she wasn't serious about love in her life. And I said, oh, I disagree. And they said, really, how can you? She's been married like eight times and sometimes to the same person twice and blah, blah, blah. And I said, I said because I think at, at a tremendously deep level, she was going to master love. And in order to master love, she had to keep coming up to the plate to bat, right? And baseball analogy, first sports analogy of the year, you know. But, but there it is, you know. I mean, if you're not in the game, you can't possibly win. And I think she was really committed to the experience of mastery in the area of love, which is why she kept going for it. Now, you know, so many of us would say, oh, no, I tried that once. It was so painful. I'm never going to do that again. Well, that's no way to master an experience, is it? And this is also especially, especially true, I believe, in our teaching when we talk about healing. Because, you know, if, if the first time you treat or affirm or visualize or start to do your own inner spiritual work, if that very first time you don't have instant healing, then people give up. And, you know, consciousness takes as long to change as it takes. And everybody's different. So some people have an extraordinary belief and an extraordinary faith and an extraordinary receptivity, and healing happens very, very quickly for them, just because they are a very willing place. And others, others of us, it takes a little longer. It takes time to reconcile our faith, to build greater, deeper faith, to actually have the belief that this could happen. And why not me? Because we teach that God is everywhere equally present. 